Sorry about all the sweating. I just showered because I got back from a really long walk and after I shower, I tend to sweat quite a bit. Why, I don't know. I'm a weird ass creature. Hey guys, how's it going? Jesse here. And today I decided to make my 17,000, not 17,000, I wish. It's not that I only care about subscribers and nothing else, but I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a nice thing. The thought of it didn't make me go what I meant to say is my 1700 subscriber Q&A. Duh. So yeah, without further delay, let's get started with the Q&A, eh? And I'll start from the top question. And my throat is drier than a mother trucker. So the first question comes from Big Red 3000 and he or she asks, if you like The Simpsons, what's your favorite character? I'm gonna be completely honest, I've never been a fan of The Simpsons. I've always been a family guy kind of guy. Just because I want to answer this question, I don't want to leave it unanswered. I'm going to say, Homie! And that was creepy. Ugh. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Thanks for submitting the question. Big Red, appreciate it. The next question comes from Fleagle the Beagle, and he or she asks, are you going to bring back Charlotte and Grandma Gloria in your videos? Oh, you better believe it, batch. Oh yes, of course, Home Slice. Like, you haven't seen the last of Granny. Oh, her annoying bitch grandkid. I'm talking about Charlotte, not Jesse, because he's the best. <laughs> but obviously, yeah, goes without saying, you'll be seeing plenty of them in the future, along with all the other characters on my channel. So yeah, oh, I'm out of breath. All right, moving on to the next question. Big Guys 45s asks, what is your most favorite thing about Canada? Absolutely, positively fucking nothing, eh? It snows here like nine months out of the year and we have to all huddle together in that period of time in our igloos, trying to ward off any potential predators, namely polar bears from turning our insides into our outsides. But at least we have our pet mooses to protect us, along with our rifles, but even then it's not a guarantee since polar bears are the living embodiment of fuck your shit up. <laughs> no, but with all jokes aside, I love Canada, despite the fact that I'm not a fan of the cold. Well, Canada's not perfect, just like any other country. Sure, there's crime here. Sure, there's a lot of dickheads here, obviously. That goes without saying. But with that being said, there's a lot of good about this country and that includes the scenery. There's a lot of beautiful places like British Columbia, for example, in my opinion. While I haven't been there, I've seen plenty of pictures and video footage on YouTube. It's easily the most beautiful place I've ever seen in Canada. It's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Mwah. And uh, a lot of beautiful wildlife lives here too. You got bears and wolves and deer and moose and goddamn beavers. Canada's a lot safer than a lot of countries out there and obviously Canada's not the only country that is safe. I mean, it's one of the, I looked it up, and apparently it's one of the most safest countries on the planet to live in. And I, being a Canadian, I agree with that. Again, it's not perfect, but I still think it's awesome. And while there are a lot of dickheads here, like I said, there's also a lot of good people here. I've met my fair share of really good people. Except when you're on the road, of course, then that's a different story. Because <laughs> when Canadians are driving, forget about it. Like, their attitude takes a complete 180. They just rage the fuck out. They turn into Canadian hulks, like, Oh, you won't like it when I'm angry. You the fucking buddy right here, he cut me off, eh? Oh, you're gonna get it, let me tell ya. When I catch up to you, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you the finger, let me tell ya something. And I'll tell you where to put it. I am off today. I'm also tired. I'm gonna need my 22 hour nap after this since I got back from a long ass walk. That's what happens when you reach the golden age of 28 years old. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> that question went, at, went on way longer than it should have. Thank you, big guys, 45s, for submitting your question. Really appreciate it. This subscriber tends to ask a lot of questions in my Q and A's, which is fine, of course. And this Q and A is no different. So the first question that Zoro Arc asks is, you said in your IT review that you would still like to do movie reviews. Do you still want to make some? Yeah, I, I 
would totally be open to that. I mean, I love movies. I've always been a movie buff for as long as I can remember. I, I don't know, I kind of lost interest in the idea of making movie reviews, but who knows, maybe that'll change in the future. Never say never. <clears throat> so yeah, thank you for the question, Zorark. Appreciate it. And I need some water because my mouth is drier than the Sahara Desert. The next question, by the way, is from Pokemon Nature 3000. And he or she asks, if you were a Pokemon champion, what would your team be? That is an amazing question, but also a very difficult one. So thanks so much for that. I feel like I'm being interrogated. Like this is one of those damn near impossible questions because there's so many amazing Pokemon to choose from. Yeah, Vaporeon, that's a given because Vaporeon is my favorite evolution and he's a tank too. I think by the time he gets to level 100, from what I remember anyway, I could be wrong. I think he has like 400 and something HP. He's a fucking beast. Another one that I choose is Salamence because I love dragons and he's one of my favorite Pokemon. He's awesome. Uh, third one I would choose is Agron. Hopefully I pronounce that correctly. You know, the metal slash rock dinosaur Pokemon. He's so cool. Typhlosion. That's the fourth one that I would choose. Love Typhlosion. That is my favorite starter of all time. Number five, Raichu. I'm just going to say Xerneas or Xerneas, however you pronounce it. I'll just go with that. That is my team if I was, uh, if I was a uh, Pokemon champion. So thank you for the question, Pokemon Nature 3000. Robot, Rabut, Rabut, Rabut Thunder YT says two questions. One, are you still making Pokemon videos? Oh yeah, absolutely. Even though I haven't been making videos lately, I am going to come back to that eventually. So no worries. Be happy. Mm -hmm. And the second question is, is there going to be new Pokemons from Eeveelutions like Umbreon and, or Espeon? Absolutely, for sure. It'd be ridiculous if I didn't include the final two Eeveelutions on my channel. But how I'm going to introduce them, what are their relationships with the other Pokemon characters? Find out in a future episode of Jessmeister. I was trying to be like the Dragon Ball Z guy and it failed miserably. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. And uh, a bunch of other questions from Zoroark. And the first, or the second question at this point is that he asks, or yeah, he, it, it's a he. He asks is, what's your most favorite Star Wars movie? To be completely honest, I have never seen any Star Wars movies uh, to their entirety, or through their entirety, I mean, with the exception of The Force Awakens. That was the only Star Wars movie I saw in its entirety. And to be honest, I thought it was shit. I didn't like it. It wasn't anything special. I mean, the main villain was defeated by some little girl and he had years and years of training, a Sith Lord, and he gets his ass handed, well, he wasn't quite a Sith Lord yet at that point, but he still got his ass handed to him by Rey, who's barely had any training at that point. It just makes no sense. But what I will say though, is that despite the fact it's not a movie, I have seen old Mandalorian episodes and <laughs> yeah, I know it's not a movie, like I said, but it might as well be because the quality, the production value, the CGI, the action sequences, the emotional depth within that series is incredible. It's comparable to a movie with a really good budget. So I guess in a way, saying the Mandalorian, Mandalorian kind of counts as a movie. And plus Baby Yoda. How can you say no to that face? I just want to pinch his cheeks. Just... Well, not like that aggressively, obviously. You don't have to call children's aid, Jesus. <laughs> and I just love to cuddle him. I wish I could do that, but because we live on a plain Jane, boring ass planet with no cute ass alien babies that are in actuality 50 years old, can't exactly do that shit. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, The Mandalorian being, well, even though it's not a movie, I'm just gonna say that one's my favorite. But thank you for the question anyway. And the next question from Zora Arc is, who's your most favorite DC superhero? I'm gonna have to say Batman. He knows basically like every martial arts. He's an awesome detective. He kicks ass. I mean, that warehouse fight scene from Batman versus Superman. Need I say more? I mean, if you don't like Batman after watching that scene, then the fuck is wrong with you? He's amazing. He's my favorite superhero. Well, he's not super, but I guess you can count him as a superhero anyway. 
The next question from Zoroark is, have you watched the movies Alpha and Omega and Rio? Unfortunately, I have not. The only two Pokemon movies I've ever seen are the Mewtwo one, which was the very first Pokemon movie, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, the Legendary Dog movies. Whew. All right, so the next question from him is, who's your most favorite Dragon-type Pokemon? Rayquaza, I'd have to say, because... He looks like a Chinese dragon, which I'm assuming that's what he's based off of. The next question he asks is, who's your most favorite fire type Pokemon? You know what? I'm just going to say Typhlosion. I love Typhlosion. He's just so damn cool. What's not to love? And then the final question from Zoroark is, what do you think about my channel? I haven't seen your channel yet, but I promise you I will. So yeah, sorry about the fact that I haven't seen it yet. The next question comes from my very good friend, and his name is, uh, his account name anyways, Nazy Wazy. And he says, hey man, do you plan on doing challenges like how I did the spicy noodles challenge in future or something different? Best of luck in the future. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, my very good friend is there. He actually made two videos on his channel where he ate spicy noodles and that was a challenge. That's what a lot of people on YouTube do. They do like spicy challenges, they eat really spicy things. And the idea actually intrigues me, but at the same time, I'm kind of afraid to do it because the thing is, I have something called GERD, or gastroesophageal. I believe that's how it's pronounced, maybe, who knows. Basically what it does to you is it turns you into the exorcist. It makes you upchuck all the food that you've eaten. It's happened to me many, many times and not just as a result of eating something spicy. Like it, 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 Mr. Krabs, it can, it can, it can, it can, sorry. It can still happen even if I don't eat spicy food, but eating spicy food makes it so much worse. Like the chances of the GERD attack happening is so much higher if I eat spicy food. So that's what I'm afraid of. But with that being said, I would love to try some spicy food challenge. I just don't want to go overboard. Like, no ghost peppers, no Carolina Reapers, no scorpion peppers. Is that how you say it? Either way. Because if I did that, I would just die. So yeah, thanks for the question, buddy. Really appreciate it. And uh, I wish you also the best of luck in the future. And the final question, or rather questions, comes from Spooky Dorito Animations. Another awesome name, by the way. Jess, I have a few questions. First question, favorite Pokemon? I used to say Xerneas or Xerneas, but I don't know, there's so many cool Pokemon to choose from, so I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna name a shit ton of Pokemon just to be on the safe side. So Xerneas, Rayquaza, Lugia, Suicune, Typhlosion, Blastoise, Vaporeon, Raichu, Gyarados, Red Gyarados that is, I love Shiny Gyarados, he's awesome. Dope as fuck. And yeah, that's just a, a few examples of some of my favorite Pokemon. I don't have like one particular favorite Pokemon, at least not anymore. And the second question is favorite food. When it comes to the favorite food, que favorite food question, much like the Pokemon question, I can't just answer it with one answer alone because the fact is there's so many different foods that I love. I have many, many different favorite foods. So I'll just name you a few. Some of my favorite foods include cheesecake, popcorn, sun chips, burritos, shepherd's pie, that's amazing, uh, spaghetti, mom's spaghetti, oh god, <laughs> oh yeah, Popeye's chicken sandwiches, those things are juicy, man, <laughs> they're so good, I'm not gonna name all my favorite foods, otherwise we're gonna be here for, well, forever, so, yeah, let's move on from that question, third question is who inspired you? Now, in one of my past Q&As, it might have even been my first q and I might have even said in my second q and I did say that the person that inspired me the most was Shane Dawson, and that's before all the really bad shit came out about him being a creep. So, yeah, I apologize for saying that, even though how the fuck could have I possibly known any of that shit was going to surface in the future? I didn't know about any of that shit, because if I did, I wouldn't have said, oh, he's one of the people that inspired me in one of my previous Q&A's, so yeah. Other people that did inspire me include Ryan Higa and Smosh, you know, 
the OGs. And the final question is, what's the best movie of 2021 so far? Well, like I said in one of my previous questions, I was talking about how I said the only movie I saw this year in theaters due to the whole COVID bullshit is Daniel, let there be carnage. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I thought it was, I'd give it a seven out of 10. I feel like the pacing, it was moving along too quickly and it should have been rated R. I'm gonna be completely honest because it's kind of in the name, Carnage. When you hear Carnage, you expect there to be gore everywhere. I'm talking about like the kind of gore you used to seeing in God of War or Doom. I want to see him decapitating people and slurping up their innards like a slushy. <laughs> but no, it was PG-13. I felt like it would have been a longer movie and a way better movie if it was rated R. Oh, I have a bunch of new questions as well. All right, so it looks like I got more questions than I thought I did. So continuing the Q&A, yes, yes, it's uh, later on in the day. And I got my spectacles on. <sighs> the next question comes from None Available, and he or she asks, I've been a fan of your, I've been a fan of yours for a while now, and the one question I've always wanted to ask was, how are you doing today? Hopefully well, and how's life been tr treating you? Eh, Jesus. I'm doing pretty good today, actually, thanks for asking. Life in general, I mean, it is, it, it, it has its fair share of hurdles, obviously, but overall I'm getting by. So once again, thanks for asking, really appreciate the question, and thank you for being a fan of mine for so long, and thank you for your continued support, very much appreciate it. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. So the two last questions come from Zoroark, and the first of two questions is, oh, excuse me. Which one of these franchises is your favorite? Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, or Nightmare on Elm Street? I guess I'd have to say Friday the 13th because I just love Jason so much. He's terrifying. If I'm not mistaken, he's undead and he has superhuman speed. It's ridiculous. No matter how far away his victims run, he's just, he just teleports. He's, he uses instant transmission like Goku. He wears that creepy ass a hockey mask, and then underneath, he just looks like a swollen, infected butthole. J -j 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 Jason, or Friday the Thirteenth. Okay, so shut up, bottle. The last question from Zoro Arc is, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, are you planning on uh, planning a Halloween video with Vaporeon? That's actually a really good idea. I wasn't originally, but now that you mention it, I just might have to. But how would it go down? I mean, if any of you guys have any cool suggestions for Halloween Pokemon videos or Vaporeon videos, feel free to share those suggest suggestions with me. Suggestions, yes. Anyways, that is it for all the questions for real this time. <clears throat> oh, oh, got a scratchy throat. Scratchy. <clears> throat> Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for submitting all of your questions. I really enjoyed answering all of them as usual. And I look forward to uh, answering more of your questions in future Q and A's. So with that being said, for those of you who haven't yet, feel free to rate, comment, share with your friends, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. And don't worry, it won't be another eight months until my next video. I promise, this time for realsies. <laughs> see you guys later. Peace out. Woo!